Hey all, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the BenQ Insta Show. This is a plug-and-play wireless presentation system designed for businesses and sells for a whopping one grand. Now, even though it's not really meant for consumer or home use, if you're like me, the first impression was, wow, that's a very high price uh, in a world where we have, for consumers, the Chromecast, for example. Uh, originally, Chromecast only allowed us to share photos as well as YouTube content from our phone, but with the uh, iterative software updates, we can actually now share screen using Chromecast. However, there are still some limitations to Chromecast, one being that it is open to any device that's connected to your network, so any laptop that's connected to the same Wi-Fi can potentially push their content over. And what BenQ claims is that their solution is plug and play, but you need to have one of their modules plugged to the HDMI port of a laptop or tablet, and only that device has encryption to send the information to the receiver. So it's more secure and also has higher resolution because the Chromecast original can only share screen up to 720p. They also have some other claims, including faster latency for watching videos, things like that, which we'll discuss in a moment. But I do want to point out that this concept of a wireless uh, kind of HDMI or wireless screen sharing isn't completely new to the market. Market. We have seen other competitors for businesses like the AirTame, as well as another wireless HDMI receiver and transmitter kit, which uh, both sell for about $200 to $300. Part of the reason why the price is higher than all of the other competitors I just mentioned is because you just get more within this box. You have a all aluminum stand, which uh, looks very fancy, especially for businesses if you put it onto a desk, and it holds all of the different modules inside. So it comes with multiple of these that you can plug into any computer, and again, once plugged in, that's the computer that can share the screen to the connected monitor or TV so that the presenter doesn't need to install anything fancy. Uh, in the case of the uh, Chromecast, you still need to install the Chrome browser for it to function, and in the case that someone doesn't have that installed or don't have that, again, this is going to be more of a simple setup process. To switch into the super low latency video sharing mode, there's a key that you can tap on. It works with any platform and again has that encryption up to AES 128 bits to ensure added security between the receiver and the transmitter and also claims to have access to all of this without needing to connect directly to a Wi-Fi network, for example. So it doesn't actually slow down the bandwidth of your internet speed. So certainly there are quite a few advantages and they are going with a very proprietary solution here. Again, uh, being very similar to a wireless HDMI kit that we saw uh, a few months back, a receiver and a transmitter, as opposed to relying on only uh, a transmitter which connects to a monitor and then your device needs to install an app. Uh, this is, again, simply plug and play. Packaging contents include the wireless receiver here with its two antennas. Seems like a pretty small router in terms of its design, but still is going to be larger than, say, a Chromecast. As you can see, they're similar to a small Android TV box. Here are the wireless transmitters, which are smaller, but uh, you can see here it needs to connect to a full-sized HDMI port, which means, again, it won't work with smartphones most likely because they don't have that full-sized connector uh, unless you get a USB Type-C to HDMI converter micro USB cable for providing power to the receiver uh, box. And down below here we have the aforementioned dock which is made out of a super solid chunk of aluminum and that's where you can pop in all of the different parts and display it on a desk when not in use uh, for guests just to pick up. And we also have the various instruction manuals. We also have some mounting brackets as well. A USB extender if you need to extend the power supply. And there's also a quick start guide. Here's again what the stand looks like. It is very hefty and premium feeling as it should. And when you're done, you can simply tuck away the transmitter into the uh, little docking ports and this is what it looks like just the triangles pop out like so someone can just pick one up and then start using it on their computer if you opt for this uh, dock here and there's two more slots here maybe for putting pens or other accessories uh, not necessarily for any parts that are included with the uh, contents of the insta show so here is a closer look at the transmitter it is just a kind of square here. The back here just features some very simple specs, soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on the surface. There's again that simple one-click key to begin mirroring the content and then one click again to stop mirroring the content. And over here we have the mode key that begins the optimized video mode. And then again the receiver box itself has a dedicated power key. Then on the back you simply need to connect the HDMI connector to the monitor that you want to share things to. And you also need the micro USB port for power. So here we have a portable 
cable monitor and it's connected by HDMI to the wireless uh, receiver box. I'm just going to turn it on here by tapping on the power key. The light here turns green and it tells us to simply tap on the transmitter. It will turn blue and then it will begin sharing the screen over. So as a quick demo here, I have a Chromebook and again, Currently the light here is green. So on our computer here, we have currently a document that's open and I can simply tap on the key here. It will turn blue and then on our monitor, which can also be a larger TV, uh, of course, you can see that it's now recognized and it's mirroring the content. So the external display, of course, will be a larger panel so you can be able to give your presentation uh, to a crowd of people, maybe even a projector. Uh, the latency, as you can see here, is actually not that bad. So we can move around this document and they are happening in just a split second delay, not too bad at all. And again, the entire thing was simply plug and play. There's no drivers or additional software that's needed, especially on systems like this Chromebook where you can't install more traditional apps like you would on Windows, for example. And again, it's more than sufficient when it comes to reading back text and uh, doing things like PowerPoints and slides, everything will still be very much comfortable and you can give a very professional uh, presentation or lecture without the need to be tied up with the logistics of installing software. So um, as you can see here, everything is working along just fine, no problems when it comes to the display. And again, we are outputting at 1080p, which is full HD resolution and definitely a step above compared to if I used a share screen in a Chrome browser through the Chromecast, uh, which is limited to 720p. And that resolution detail will make text again more sharp more legible and just uh, overall um, it's also a little bit faster in terms of latency when I did a comparison with this because both of these products need to be connected to your home's router and then the computer also needs to be connected to the same network and then it has to transfer the information over through the network to the display. So if I play back a quick video here and it's doing so here through a YouTube clip, uh, let's just full screen this and scrub back into a few seconds. I can tap on the video optimization key there and uh, right now it's the presentation mode so you can tell it's a bit more jagged and uh, laggy but uh, actually if I tap on it once again it's now in the video mode it will take a second to process and afterwards you can tell how it's a lot smoother in terms of the playback uh, experience. Sound, by the way, still comes out from the TV or whatever speaker you're connected to to the receiver box. So it's no longer coming out from the smaller speakers on your machine. And when it comes to switching, say I have another computer connected right now running on Windows and I want to jump into that, on that second module I can tap on the switch key. And now on our monitor we are immediately seeing um, kind of a extended screen once again at the moment, but again it is indeed running on full windows as you can see here down below now uh, compared to Chrome OS here on the left. I can tap on the Chrome OS again and it instantly switches back to the Chrome screen once again back into windows so it's hot swappable within just one second. There's really no lag at all when it comes to just the switching back and forth as you can see there. I can also tap on one to shut down the connection altogether. One thing I will point out though is after about uh, 15 to 20 minutes of use, the transmitters do get pretty warm. In fact, it is a little bit hot to the touch, so I would still recommend putting it onto a table or onto a desk if possible, as opposed to holding it in your hands, but that's just a minor critique. Um, some other things to really keep in mind as we wrap this up is again, the Transmitter boxes do rely on a full-sized HDMI connection, which uh, makes sense because that is the most common port, but uh, there are more and more ultra portables and tablets these days that even business professionals might be using. Mini HDMI or micro HDMI or even a proprietary port, and in those cases you would definitely have to use a you know small HDMI to a full-sized adapter before connecting to this. It is something to keep in mind because as laptops get thinner and thinner, there really is uh, no longer as much space to put a full-size HDMI port. Ultimately, the BenQ InstaShow is the most seamless and easy to use wireless HDMI screen sharing set. Works with any HDMI based device, any OS operating system that you may have will be fine and comes with a pretty nice amount of accessories in the box that looks very professional and clean. Uh, the only downside really is that price. I think at $1,000, obviously for consumers, it's a little bit prohibitive. However, for again, businesses that need something professional and straightforward, I think that BenQ has made a very promising product and hopefully in the future they could add even more adapters that you can pick up uh, separately with other types of heads for different types of HDMI connectors like micro, mini HDMI, and have them all compatible with one box and perhaps even lower the cost. And that just might be 
a winning formula. So you can check out more details if you're interested, especially for companies in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the BenQ InstaShow plug and play wireless full HD presentation set.